Hi, I'm Phil Monkhouse, Realtor. I'm going to go over the first quarter update from the developer of Sienna. Um, so probably the most interesting piece of news is this piece of land right here is supposed to be an HEB, um, a bigger one like the one at the front, 112 to 115 square feet. So this is Sienna Parkway and Waters Lake Boulevard. Um, this right here is the existing CVS. So yeah, it's supposed to be HEB. Um, the way the Sienna construction manager explained it is this chunk of land will be sell, sold off to another developer that will work with HEB to get the store built. Um, and apparently HEB is the only grocery store company building right now. So they're kind of taking their time. They're, they don't feel in a rush. They don't feel like they're going to lose their deal or anything. So there's no established timeline, timeline, but that's supposed to be an HEB right there. Um, <clears throat> they're hoping to sign a deal. The Sienna developer is to sign a deal to put a gas station in this area. Um, and I'll just go around the rest of the map where I've labeled it. Uh, this is the back and mill crossing. There's going to be, um, an alternate exit <clears throat> for people to get out to 521 or wherever they want to go this way. Um, future model home park will be over here. Once this area is all filled in, I believe, uh, kids are kids built. There's going to be building in this area. This is, um, right by Thorne and Leonetti. Um, future amenity center is going to be in this area. Most likely sometimes these plans change, but that's the plan. I believe down here, this is the future school, the elementary school. It's going to be ready in 2023 for the spring of 2023. Here's the other future elementary school. Um, no plans on this one. That's future, future for sure. But this one's, uh, spring 2023. That's where that is. If you haven't seen it yet. Um, so I'll just finish off talking about the schools, I guess. the um, I think it's right about here on a map would be where the future high school is coming. Um, and then I think, I'm not sure if it's been approved already for sure, but uh, the, the next middle school probably won't be in Siena. It'll be near the high school over in this section. Um, so some work that the LID is doing, um, the Levy Improvement District. So they're... This area here, this big area is supposed to be a water retention area. Um, so you can see that's a pretty sizable area they're building. They're also expanding this creek here to hold more water, similar to what's going on in Siena Oaks Lake. Um, this channel as well is being, I think it's dredged out or something like that to hold more water. And then pumping capacity, uh, they did one station already over here and I think they're doing two more and the finished product is going to be four times the pumping capacity that was here before Harvey. Uh, and then this one's proposed as well. This would be Waters Lake up here. Um, so obviously a lot of the water during Harvey was pooling in this area in the streets. So this is planned to help pump it out. I don't think it's given the go ahead, but it's, uh, <clears throat> but it's been, it's been proposed. So hopefully that happens. Uh, the Sawmill Lake Club is, uh, there's new buildings starting in November. I don't remember the purpose of the building. I think it might just be more meeting rooms, but yeah, starting in November. Um, there's likely going to be a fitness center expansion too. So that's much needed. I think that's just going to be, they're just going to make the existing building bigger for that. But that's needed. That's pretty tight in there. So that'd be nice to see. Um, and then a new sand volleyball court down closer to the water from the existing one. So yeah, that's another great project because those courts are getting very busy recently. Um, I'll just talk about the roads for a second before I move on to a new area, the upper area in Siena. Um, more turning lanes are coming on Siena Parkway. Um, I would say the one bothers me personally is the one on McKeever. Whenever someone's turning left there, it's hard to get around. Uh, and then also, it was mentioned that, like, yeah, Sienna Parkway, I think people have mentioned this before, but it's going to be three lanes in the future. Um, that's not a Johnson Development project. That is, um, I, don't, I don't remember who, but that's not a Johnson Development project, so they don't have a timeline on it, but it probably will be turned into three lanes in the future. And, um, oh, yeah, the 521 expansion uh, lanes added. That's supposed to start in 2024. It's a Texas... Department of Transportation uh, project, but um, it's been announced it's 2024, so that's good to hear.
So I'll move on to another area. Oh, but briefly before I move on to the north part of Siena, I just wanted to, uh, this is what is all called Sawmill Lake right now. Um, I was always wondering about that. It seemed way too big to be one village. So, um, yeah, it's, it's actually three villages. Um, village of Sawmill Lake, this section here. I think that area is pretty much all built out. I mean, I guess there's a little bit of a heritage park to be done still. Um, and then this section, which really doesn't have development yet, is Village of Summerhouse Lake. And then the south part is Village of Siena Oaks. So in case you're wondering about the different villages, that's what they're going to be. Okay, so down here, just south of McKeever, um, lots of questions about this in the neighborhood. I see in the Facebook groups, but... Um, it's a 34 acre parcel of land the works being done right now they're raising up the elevation um, in this area because it's outside of the levees outside of levee protection so they're raising up the ground uh, to get around that um, and it's going to be uh, perry homes on 40 foot lots it's 34 acres and the first phase i think it was three phases but the first phase is 71 lots so pretty significant project there and then up here, this is Jan Schiff Elementary. There's a wastewater treatment plant right behind it. Um, so that was always planned to be a temporary plant, and it's um, they're finally going ahead and removing it soon. I think they said the uh, I think they're working on the land, like preparing the lots in 2023. So I don't know if homes will be ready in 2023 or ready in early 2024 or something like that. Uh, but that's going to be new mark homes, 50 foot lots. I think there's around 40 of them. So the, the water is, the wastewater is going to be pumped up to um, a facility in Missouri City. Missouri City is going to treat it. So yeah, that's the plan there. So, and then just the next side, some info on Sienna sales. So yeah, it's the 25th year of Sienna. Um, and last year was the fourth biggest year in terms of sales. I think they could have got even higher if they had more lots to, uh, push out but um yeah they're working as fast as they can to make new lots obviously but um so that's the number that they built last year um and then yeah so the prices are climbing fast as everyone knows um so i'll just give you the average the average new home sale price was five hundred forty one thousand eight hundred seventy two dollars and the average square footage was three thousand one hundred twenty eight and um that roughly works out to $173 per square foot. So yeah, definitely um, new homes are getting pretty expensive. Um, no signs of that slowing down anytime soon, but uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Bye.